looks good. This is chopped two. So it's chopped cheese part two. <sighs> Just reminiscing, guys. Go ahead and get a. Hey, don't even get used to seeing me in this uniform. I'm tired of being in this uniform. I've done my time. All right, so you guys see, see me make the, uh, the chopped cheese already. It was really easy. Um, some things that I do want to address. Um, I want to get a presser. Is that what they call it? A presser? So you can, like, mash your uh, stuff down. But other than that, like, I was really impressed. It was really easy to make. More or less, it's a, it's a hamburger on a bun. That's the best way I can, I can say it, but... Really good. Hell yeah. We got ideas. You want to see me cook it? Hit me up. I highly encourage you guys to start cooking more at home. Fast food and eating out is okay if you once in a while, but Look at home. Yeah, I get your family in there. You can all be in the kitchen to help me cook or some shit like that. Or it saves money too. And then this way, you know what's in your food. Gosh. Get some shout outs real quick. Deborah Williams, thank you for always watching and commenting. I appreciate you. <laughs> Your pleasure, 721. I still don't know who you are, but thank you. Appreciate you. Mm -hmm. France always comments. What's up, France? Thank you. France always comments. So what I've been doing is um, I've been doing my job, but they don't really have a lot for me. So I'm editing videos at work, which also saves me from editing videos at home, which, you know, frees me up with my baby and um, cleaning or getting my stuff ready for a turn in. So all that stuff is good. Cynthia um, Lyman always comments. Thank you. I appreciate you. Alethea Hopkins, Island Baby, thank you. Oh, Shay B, Shay B, Shay B funny. I like Shay B. She really shit. I'm just some cooking with passion. Thank you. Always comments. Angela, no last name. Vera Garcia, appreciate you. Miss Cox, thank you. Um, JW sent me a nice comment today on um, on Jericho's video. And here's the thing. I always assume when I'm honest with you guys and I open up, I'm telling you my life story and how, you know what I'm saying, I'm feeling about life or whatever. I I kind of assume that you guys would just feel free enough to share your stories and be honest with me. And comments like this show me that it, that's what's happening. And so I always say thank you. Divorce sucks. It's not easy. And, um, you know, we all going through it. So thank you. Thanks, J-Dub. Um, miss, miss to you, Hamlin. Thank you. You always comment nice stuff. I appreciate you. Um, is it Malaya? Malaya Hope. Thank you. Always positive. Good comments. Thank you.
Linda Kilmer, Kimbler, my bad. Thank you for watching the comments. I appreciate you. Nikki Rogers, Nikki always comments. Thank you. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, what's Ashley's cooking? What's Ashley cooking? Actually, I actually uh, subscribed to her. They did a video in a minute, Ash. Um, thank you for um, for watching and commenting. Megan Taylor loves my cook my loves my cooking videos. Thank you. I appreciate you for watching and subscribing and commenting. Miss Candy Crawford, thank you. Yali, it's a real name, but Yali always comments. A few times. Thank you for watching, y'all. I appreciate you. And you see, it's already done. Oh, I probably would do another bread. Something a little, maybe a little more. But, I mean, it did its job. Shit, I'm full. I ain't mad. Burnt the hamburger a little bit. But it's, it's good. CC. CC Medina 85. Thank you. Always coming. That was good. Mm -hmm. Y'all, yeah, we always coming. Um, creative. Creative and. I would say creative space. You know who you are. Can't say help. Creative. Creative hand space. There you go. Thank you. Is that short A? S H O R D A E. Short A always comments. Nice stuff. My always comments and watches. Thank you. McGinnis family, thank you for watching and commenting. I appreciate you. Martina, I had to go, okay. Thank you. See, Martina always comments. Thank you, Martina. I appreciate you. Annabelle Wynn for the home team. Thank you. I appreciate you. Jazz the 213, the sky's the limit. Congratulations. I appreciate you. Thank you. Always commenting. Always positive. Gracie G five one two. Gracie G five one two and her husband had been married. Is it twenty seven years? Twenty six or twenty seven? I like wow. I definitely asked for some advice. Like how do you guys keep it together? Um, R Pearson, thank you for watching and commenting on my videos. Now this isn't this isn't all the comments. This is just the ones that I like. I see all the time. I'm like, thank you. So like, say I did something messed up. I would look at like, okay, you know what? This person always been positive, always been honest, always been real. So if it's coming from you. I feel like it's genuine. You know what I'm saying? Versus some of these people that never comment. Yolanda Wilson. Thank you. <sighs> I think it's Paula. Paula Cassiano. That sound Cassiano sounds right, but thank you for watching and commenting. Yeah, it's a lot. That's why I said I read all the comments. I want to say some some of them are just full of shit, you know, but for the most part, um But for the most part, I feel like they're all pretty good. What? But yeah, I appreciate you. 
<sighs> so we'll take time, guys. So we'll take time. I appreciate everything that, that the Army has done for me. I appreciate the deployments and the experience, and I, I pretty much have grown up in the Army. Coming in at 20 years old and then retiring at 40, you know, it, it actually went a lot faster than I could have ever expected. So, thank you. But at the same time, I am ready to get the fuck out. I can't wait to get out. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm ready to hang this uniform up. I'm ready to uh, put on some trucking gear and uh, hit the road. That's what I am, am ready to do. So, it is what it is. I have some appointments coming. I actually have a lot of appointments coming up. They sent me some packages yesterday. FedEx. And they hired too. I might slide over there. Let's see what's in there. I like to open up stuff on camera. So this is basically a Department of Veterans Affairs letter saying that I have a claim um, and I'll be having some medical appointments. I claimed everything. My damn pinky toe hurt, my back hurt. I don't sleep, uh, I'm irritable. I I went through two marriages, two divorces. They they count all that shit. They count everything. I'm moody. I got migraines. I got arthritis. So everything on there, I claimed, and I will go see a doctor that's coming up soon. Well, actually, about eight doctors. And they'll give me my diagnosis, and they will give the army a recommendation. Y'all remember, I, I uh, almost turned my damn finger off. I got a deformed finger. I ain't giving you the bird. I got a deformed finger that got hurt in the army when I was in Alaska. I save for everything. All right, look at all this stuff. Yep, so these are all different examinations. Yeah, okay. Let me know my address. Yeah, a whole bunch of them. Hey, so I, I cook, right? And I, I was going to bring some to work so they can try them out on camera so you guys can get another opinion other than just mine. Of course, if I eat it, I'm going to say it's fire. But to have another opinion, like, means a lot to me. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't want to just have black people. I want to have white people. I want to have black people. I want to have Hispanic. And that way I, I get a different um a different comment on each because people you know they season their food different or they you know they eat differently so you know I, I want it all and I wanted to be honest because you know as much as I love to cook and I enjoy it I really even enjoy more people eating my food and it makes them happy so I like it so I'm not sure I'm gonna make I'm gonna make something for everybody. I'm gonna bring it in and let them try it and get their uh, honest opinions. Okay, what is this? All examinees with an in-person appointment, coronavirus has to wear a mask. Please wear a mask. Okay, so this one, yeah, these have all my, my appointment dates and times and location. Uh, examination appointments uh, has the date, time, location. I think I just said that. And then it tells you what the, what the appointments are for. Yeah, 
So, yeah, I'm going I'm to make sure I make all my appointments. This is very important to me. After all the shit I've been through, after giving 20 years of my life to the Army, oh, yeah, I need all of me, baby. I need all of me. I need all of me. You know what pisses me off? And some of you might not like it. What pisses me off is sometimes how military spouses feel like they're entitled to what we do, to what we make. Just because you married to a military man, I don't mean he's supposed to get his goddamn benefits. I don't be, I never understand that shit. I'd be like, what? Yeah, I, hey. You ain't, you ain't did no low crawling. You ain't shot no weapon. You ain't been shot at. You ain't been blown up. You know what I'm saying? I just be like, okay. I don't I don't understand that shit. Some of y'all be talking like, oh, yeah, I know what you're talking about, Des. My, my ex-husband or my whatever was in the military. That ain't the same. That ain't the same. I was like saying, I understand that you how it is to give birth because I was there holding your, <laughs> holding your hand. No, ain't the same thing, but okay. Some more appointments, a whole bunch of, I ain't doing like this. So this one is uh, audio, audiology, I think that's hearing, and the other one is mental. I got a hearing, so that's, that's the hearing appointment, I got the hearing. I don't know why they did them all in separate like this. It's a waste of paper. Well, yeah, I, I get sort of annoyed. You know what I'm saying with that? Yes, you were there uh, at the home, but I mean, that home was provided by the government because your husband served in the, in the military, not because he married you. You know what I mean? Like, I know you'll be mad at me, but just hear what I'm saying. Like, does your husband get special treatment because you work at wherever you work at? You know what I'm saying? No. Not at all. I say this shit here. Since women always want the military benefits, why don't you join the military? And most of you won't. Most of you would never would never do it. But you have no problem trying to get yeah 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 the the military person's benefits. I still think it's funny. I laugh at shit like that. What we do for our country, only to come back and try to have somebody take what, 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 what we work for. This is. What is this? See, this one didn't have one. I'm going to say what it was for. Diagnostic testing is a common part of your VA claim exam. It is normal to feel somewhat anxious before a diagnostic tests. We can help your mind at ease, letting you know what to prepare for uh, doing a diagnostic test with QTC Medical. What that means? But okay. It's here. Yeah, I don't, know, I, don't, I don't know what that means. Local portable imaging. Yeah, stuff like that. When when we was going through the um, child support or whatever, <laughs> she kept saying, "You know, I, I want to talk to you about something." And the only thing I can be thinking about is you gonna ask me about some some more money from my retirement. And like I said before, like I asked about the house. You know, what I'm saying I asked about the home when uh, it was going through whatever, and she was like, "I want to get something." And I asked a simple question. How many payments have did you make on the house? She got mad. <laughs> Zero payments. Why would you, if you didn't pay any payments on the home, why would you feel like you should get something? Because she was married to a military man. That, that type of shit don't make fucking sense. But, I mean, some of you, you know, maybe you guys make it make sense for me. That's like saying... She just bought a house, right? So when we finalize this divorce, I should get some of that house. That's what that says. Like what? And it makes no sense whatsoever. But I don't know. Comment down below. 
Let me know what y'all think. Apparently, I'm an asshole. That's what I've been told. Maybe, maybe so. But I, I look at shit like for what it is. I don't, I don't think it's ever fair for someone to work their ass off for something. And just because you're with somebody, that they should get half or partial of that and then didn't put in into it. No. Quest Diagnostics. <sighs> Blood tests, anxiety. Oh, this is, this is laboratory testing. Plenty of water before your blood test. This improves the ability to find veins for the blood draw. Avoid coffee or any caffeinated drink before your test. Okay. So, like I said, I, I could be wrong, right? I ain't perfect. But I know what I've done in the military. I joined the military. I, I, I just told you, I joined the military when I was 20 years old. I ain't want to marry them no kids. So I got married, had a child. Um, I didn't go on any deployments with her. All my deployments were before. And then the one that I had in 2020, she was already gone. So she didn't even last for the for deployment. I got all these, all these, all these claims, you know what I'm saying? And like I said, I cannot fathom somebody expecting to get what they didn't put in. But I can hear y'all now, but I was married. And then once again, I keep saying, so like her YouTube channel, because we were married, I should get half of that, right? Let's, 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 let's keep it a buck. How about you leave my shit alone? Okay. How about you let me live? See, these tell you what the appointments are for. The other ones, I don't really say anything. I know I gotta fill that out. But overall, y'all, I am blessed. With the issue with, with our son, um, I, I really don't try to I don't know, get start shit or whatever. Like, like we got enough going on. Um, but I mean, I'm proud of her. I'm, I'm proud of her. She got her own stuff. She got her own car. She got her own house. She pay her own bills. You know, that's what grown ups supposed to do. When she got with me, she didn't have none of that shit. You know what I mean? She didn't have anything on her own. And I just felt like she was just, she took advantage. She, she felt like all this shit was hers. Everything that I worked for, my car, my house, you know what I'm saying? Like everything was hers without putting that, the work in. You know what I mean? I, I was like, that, that shit got old, you know? So I, I'm very happy that she has her own stuff. Now, imagine she has she has a boyfriend or she gets married and that man won't have for her shit. I want to see how y'all feel about that. Because that's exactly what they're saying. She'll be like, what? I, I had this before I met you. I'm like, exactly. Exactly. Sometimes you got to go through shit and be in people's shoes for you to understand. Yes. And before you say, well, she had your kids. That's what women do. Men can't have children. That's what women do. I pay child support. <laughs> what else? What else? Why do y'all feel like y'all so entitled? Like I said, if you want the benefits, by all means, join the military. Which you're not, and you won't. Mm-hmm. <sighs>
Oh man, I'm tired. Uh, coming up next on the menu, I have a lot of vegetarian ideas that I want to do. Uh, mushroom and spinach pasta is one of them. There is a veggie burger that I'm excited to try. I'm looking forward to that. So I just really like want to step my creative, my creative mind and my game up when it comes to cooking. And when it comes to anything, I just want to be well-rounded. So, you know, not just cooking with meat. I can also do, you know, vegetarian stuff too. Not vegan stuff. Vegan shit is, that's horrible. They don't, they don't, they don't even use milk or cheese. They don't do shit. So I'm going to just stick with, uh, I'll just stick with, um, vegetarian uh, dishes for right now. Psychology. Psychology. tells you everything okay this is good to know hey so comment down below uh, let me know what you guys think about my, uh, about what i said you think i'm an asshole or not because of what i said like i said these are only my thoughts thoughts is about me about me and mine let me know what you think yeah, I'm sure you're going to say, oh, being a military spouse is hard. Is it really any harder than being a regular spouse? Your husband or your wife goes to work. You stay home with the kids. Or maybe you work and, you know, you do it for your on your own for a little while until they come back. Right. Come on, y'all. Keep it a buck. And like, what are men for? I've, I've just been noticing, like, I ain't, I ain't just been noticing, but like, females view men as, as finance. I remember Steve Harvey was like, you know, men supposed to provide, was it? I can't remember what it was, but it was, it was like, it was like, they supposed to provide, protect, and something else. But, you know, but women look at men as financial. Well, we look at women as, you know, pretty. Are they fine? Are they going to be freaky in bed? That's when we be having our issues. And then we got baby mamas. And then we got, and then we get divorced. And then we, we get married and then we're not happy. Because we ain't looking right. We ain't looking at the right things. Nurse, nurse, Practitioner, FNP, the hell is that? Year that medical experience began, year that VA compensation related experience began. Oh, what is this? Oh, that, that's that thing she was talking about. Oh my gosh. What is she got damn 35 pages? Oh my goodness. 35 pages. Oh wow! So it's gonna go go over all my oh man, it's gonna be here for be here for a long time. If you're wondering if I feel feel some type of way about the the separation, absolutely. Um, I, I wish it it would have went a different way. I wish it would have been a more calming way a more peaceful separation but it wasn't it is what it is I, I i think i was i was i was really shocked and upset and i just didn't like the way things were going i didn't like the way i was being treated and looked at and shit you know you talk real bad about me and how i was this bad person and i'm this and i'm that and i'm i'm so toxic and i'm like, okay <laughs> but then you want to get back together and 
if I ain't mistaken, if I ain't mistaken, I can't remember. It was so long ago. Everything that I wanted to do or try to do is for my kids. I wanted to be with my children. But daddy got to be happy too. And I can just tell by the way things were going and the way the mind frame was set up that I wasn't going to be happy. For some reason, she always wanted to run back to Virginia every chance she could get. And it was like it was, it was like comments that I was like, I think I one of them was like, yeah, I need to go be with my family. I'm like, what the fuck am I? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, sometimes the breakup is the blessing. Okay? Sometimes the divorce is the blessing. And it just just wasn't right. It just just wasn't right. Any 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 people that, that has that same stigmatism, that same mindful idea that happy wife happy life that shit came from a fucking woman that is the dumbest shit you, you all want equal rights and you don't want like nobody to be sexist but that's exactly what it is happy wife happy life so what does that say for the man fuck him as long as the wife is happy that's so stupid that is so dumb and that's like like the mind frame i feel like a lot of women have do this for me and do this for me i i i I, I'm owed this, and I'm like, what? I'm entitled that, and I'm like, it has to be work on both parties. It has to be work on both parties. You, you got to be given the same effort on both parties. It can't just be him. Even financially, it should not just be the man paying for everything. Now, some of you might have grew up like that, and that's how you feel. I think that's bullshit. We are both able to. To be working. Let me tell you what this does. Alright, so some men don't like their wife working, right? So what does she do? What is her purpose then? To clean the house? To to do chores? You know what I'm saying? What if you're a woman that don't want to do that type of shit? What if you're a woman that has ambitions and stuff like that? You know what I'm saying? Like it, it's never just a, a, a straight edge or or Black and white, it's always some gray in there. I I am very resentful. I feel like if we're both able to work and get this paper, then why not? I feel some type of way if I'm working and I come home and your ass is on the couch. That's just me. That's just me. I'm like, what? Ain't too much you're tired. Now, having kids is fucking tiring. Let's, let's go ahead and say that shit right now. Let's clear that up. Having kids is tiring as fuck. That shit ain't no joke. But I, I've seen couples, I've seen couples in the military, and I think this this had me. This that this is when I knew I wasn't crazy. Like I said, when you find the right person, that's what it's about. Now, yeah, your ideas might sound crazy to somebody else, but um, it was a female, and she was getting ready to join the army because her her husband has been in the army for 10 years and she got tired of staying home so she was like now it's my turn so he's gonna be so you know all they're gonna do is switch so now he's gonna be a a, a stay-at-home dad i'm like hell yeah that makes sense to me I, I i don't feel like why you should burn one person out what sense does that make hell no mm -mm. you know what i've seen i i've seen i've seen men like um change roles of like you know like oh man staying home is easy you know what i'm saying then they stay home for a month with the kids and the family like and they be begging to come back to work no nah, you know what i'm saying so i mean it is hard work but i just feel like it needs to be hand in hand it needs to be you know both of you going to it that sexist stupid ass shit that the man's supposed to do this and the woman's supposed to do that why can't you take the trash out why can't you cut grass? Because you got a vagina? That's the dumbest fucking thinking I've ever heard. You can't pay bills because you're a female. What? Hey, check me out, ladies. And I don't know how much of this I'm going to keep up. Have you ever wondered why men, or more men, let me say that, that the probability is higher in a man cheating than it is for a woman? Have you ever thought about it? 
if we're financially paying for everything and doing it, you know, but we're paying for everything, so it's it's law. I do what I want to do. St having a side chick is 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 pretty much natural. I'm paying for everything. You're not paying for anything. I can do exactly what I want. And then, then, for some odd reasons, women like to use sex as a punishment. Also stupid. Also dumb. So because you're mad at me or whatever the issue is, you don't want to have sex with your husband. What if he be like, okay, chick, lady, wife, you don't want to have sex with me, right? Well, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop paying these bills. Then you're like, oh, that ain't the same thing. That's not right. It's exactly what it is. I just told you all, and you know it. You look at your man, a man, to be financial stable for you. You expect him to buy a house. You expect him to to, to cut the grass and you know keep everything afloat. That's what it is. When a dude ain't got no job, he's a piece of shit. He ain't nothing. I'm, I, I'm, I'm keeping an eye on it. You cannot use sex like that. And then get mad when you have a side chick. It just don't it don't make sense. It does not make sense. And I and I feel like the the little stupid ass mind games, like that I told that thought process just makes it so much harder in a relationship. So much harder. Oh, you don't want to talk to me? I'll find somebody else to talk to. You don't have sex with me? That's fine. I'll find somebody else to have sex with. N nobody's in the mood to be playing like little stupid fuck fuck games. No, I'm just talking here. I'm just, I'm just going in. Thank y'all for watching. Peace. Like this video. Definitely comment down below. I know I'm gonna get some good ass comments, and most of my uh, subscribers I know are women. So let's hear it. Let's hear it. Alright, y'all. Peace.